Good morning, guys. It's your coach Dave here. It is actually, I think it's a little after 10 a.m. Kristen and I um, just finished our quarter force um, workout. I'm on this Saturday morning. Super, um, we're excited for today. I have the Hey Bro Show at 11:30 with Scotty coaching my daughter's softball game later. A big uh, game this afternoon. Girls have soccer, so we have a lot going on. But I wanted to come on here and do a message because of something that just happened in the last probably 24 hours and I kind of want to share it with many of you that maybe are going through struggles or are dealing with this right now as you are moving through life and you're going through your own struggles. So basically the backstory is is that Kristen and I, Kristen and I shared a video last night of the Disney bracelets that my daughters got because we are going to Disney in a couple of weeks. And we had some comments about um, about us posting that video and about sharing how excited our girls were because of maybe these people that are going through rough times in their life and are struggling and and unfortunately that this video that our intentions were just to show our girls excitement in turn were taken the wrong way by some people that took it um, maybe or took it offensive which you know in fact happens and then therefore we got some backlash. Um, from this happening. So what I want, why I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys is because you have to realize that, um, you know, so many things go through my mind, that haters will hate. Like no matter what you're doing or what you're striving to do, people that are in rough times in their life, no matter what you do, no matter if you're trying to better yourself, people are going to have you know, the victim mentality that their life is the way it is because of everything that happened to them and you quote unquote are lucky or you quote unquote are where you are because of luck and you know, if only if you were in my shoes, you wouldn't be where you are. So let me let me just let let me just share with you guys that and many of you guys have heard our story that Kristen and I struggled like hard. You know, people see, you know, some of our success now and people see that we're able to go to Disney World and take our girls to Disney now, but people aren't seeing the, the, the grinding of work that Kristen and I put in staying up late every single night, the grinding of me basically having two full-time jobs, the grinding of Kristen and I being $100,000 in debt weighing over our heads and living paycheck to paycheck, the grinding and the stress of when we both worked in the debt and barely can afford things and having three kids and we're, you know, we're overweight and on medication and literally strung out all the time. People don't see that. People only see where we are today and people don't realize that for the past six years, it's been a journey. It's been a journey of struggle. It's been a journey of making sacrifices and it's been a journey of telling our kids no a lot. But the thing that we realize, guys, and I want you guys to understand is that that everybody has a choice. And we could have chose to let have ourselves have the victim mentality and let everything that happened to us in life and the debt and everything else and being, you know, stressed and maybe depressed about the whole thing years ago. And we could have just accepted that and blamed stuff on everybody else in this world that we are where we are because of somebody else and we put us there. And we chose not to do that because we chose to surround ourselves with people that would lift us up, people that were engines in our life, people that mentored us, people that allowed us to connect us with books that we should read. So we learned to change our mindset. And instead of looking at ourselves as that everything happened to us, instead of looking at it as happened to us, that it happened for us to make us stronger and to flip our mindset and realize that, that we are blessed and grateful to have healthy kids and that if we want to get out of the situation we in, that we're in, only ourselves can support our goals and our dreams. And every single day, we can't control what happens to us, but we 100% control how we react. And we chose to react by taking massive action, by adding value to people's lives every single day. We didn't worry about the money. We didn't worry about ourselves. We worried about that we truly believe you reap what you sow. And if you give back to people and you put other people first, that it will come back to you. It's fact that you reap what you sow. And we just continued every day to plant seeds, 
every single day and we, we dealt with a lot of objections. We dealt with a lot of people telling us what we're doing was ridiculous, telling us what we're doing can't work. When we told people that we were gonna have Kristen walk away from her secure teaching job, that you are absolutely crazy. It's the dumbest thing you ever can do. It's not a real business. It's not going to get you guys to where you wanna go. People were, you know, were very negative about it. Guys, like very negative. And I can tell you, even where we are today, we just had a very negative comment put towards us about us sharing our Disney trip um, of that we're taking our kids on. But you know, my thing guys with this is, is that we worked our butts off for this. Like Kristen and I, every single day, like this morning, six o'clock this morning on a Saturday, I'm on my phone and answering messages of people that need help. You know, this week I was up every, multiple nights, very, very late at night and going on five, four or five hours sleep to work and connect with people that need help. And I, we put people first and we do this on top of being there for our kids first and being at my daughter's father-daughter dance. But when I got home last night and it was 9.30, I worked and connected with people on a Friday night to like 10.40 and spent an hour and 20 minutes on the computer working. So people see the surface level, but people don't see that we choose to be where we are because we choose to take the actions to get to where we want to go. We're far from perfect. But if you are unhappy with where you are in your life, you have to understand that you and you alone can make that change. You and you alone have complete power as a human being to literally, in an instant, change what you do in your daily agenda today. There are people like Inky Johnson, if you want to look him up on YouTube, that was going to go to the NFL and is completely paralyzed in his arm and had, I forget how many staples throughout his body. And he turned it around that realized that life is a blessing and life is a gift. And those people that made the sacrifices for him early on in his life when he basically lived in an area where people were getting shot and murdered all the time and he turned it around in his life to give back and he's one of the top motivational speakers in the world and he's super successful and he could have taken that victim mentality that he didn't make it to the NFL because he got hurt and he grew up in an area where there was 14 people in a two bedroom home, right, and in Kirkwood. And he turned it around, he changed his life, and we chose to do the same thing. We chose to lead our life, not accept our life. But we, throughout our journey, have had our haters. We've had our sabotagers. We've had people that bring us down. And I can tell you that Kristen and I work very, very hard, and we work hard so we can, we can help others and we can do things for our kids that we wouldn't have been able to do five, ten years ago. Okay, we wouldn't be able to live where we are right now. We wouldn't be able to go to certain, you know, beach body events or go to Punta Cana or not be in the debt or, you know, do the, you know, create our kitchen renovation of our dream kitchen. But this only happened, guys, because we willing to put in the work. Nobody handed this to us. Nobody said, David, I'm going to support your goals and your dreams. Here you go. It didn't happen. We rise and grind. We work our butts off. We failed a lot. We sacrifice a lot of things each and every day. We said no to our kids each and every day, but we did not have the victim mentality. So if you're watching this right now and your life is absolutely miserable and you aren't happy with where you are I'm gonna tell you that you know I want to bless you and help you understand that you can get to whatever you want because you control what you're gonna do today you control what you're gonna do this very minute you control what you're going to do tomorrow nobody can control what in fact you do with the decisions you make on how you react to what happens to you so don't blame other people for where you are. You are where you are because that's where you deserve to be. And if some tragedy happened to you in your life, it happened for you, it didn't happen to you, and you can take that and flip it around to a positive because there's people that we've become friends with, that we've connected with, that were on food stamps. We had people that we connected with that have beat cancer. We've had people that we've connected with that have serious tragedy that's happened in their life and they are, are absolutely having an amazing beautiful life because they chose to take what happened to them and they chose to learn about what did I learn from this instead of making it a victim mentality so we shared what we um, what we did with our kids last night and I'm unapologetic about it because we're super excited what how it made us feel in our hearts and how it made how, how it made us feel because our girls are excited but we weren't always in this position guys we weren't always in this position we suffered you know we went through a lot but we worked our butts off like 
every single day. And if you if you were to come into you know the roof under the roof of our house over the last two weeks, you would see the amount of work we're putting in right now, knowing what's going on with Beachbody and coaching in the next couple of months. You would see that my new model right now is living in the overwhelmed, living in the overwhelmed, so that I can grow, I can become more, I can be, increase my skills, so that we can get to another level. That's our choice. We can sit back or we can work. So we have 100% control of that. So I, I literally, when people come at Kristen and I, it's like we bless and release, and I feel sorry for them. And we will think of them in our thoughts and prayers. We will, we will hope that things get better because I want you to know, guys, it's never you. Like if you're somebody right now that's trying to achieve more, trying to get somewhere more successful in your life, and you have people that are coming at you, just feel bad for them. Pray for them because it's not what you're doing. It's what is going on with their life and what they're dealing with. And unfortunately, what they're dealing with comes out towards you. I never take it personal. I never, ever take it personal. I see it. I feel bad. You know, some of these people were our friends through the years and they, they still are our friends. And I understand, you know, what's going on in their toughness of life. And I understand that it, they, how they may see it, but it's through their lens that they see it. But through our lens, each and every day, we have flipped our mentality to go after what we want, to go after our goals and dreams, to go after, you know, to, to live the most fulfilling life possible. And we do that every single day by putting in hard work, planting seeds, by putting other people first and reaping what we're sowing. So stay the course, guys. Stay the course. If you are going after something and people are knocking you down, stay the course. It only takes one person to support your goals and dreams, and that's the person that you see in the mirror every single day, and that's you. Have your vision. Don't let anybody sabotage it. And if you're somebody that's in a situation and, and is blaming other people, right, I want you to to understand that you today can change your life, you today can make things better, and you today can live the most fulfilling life tomorrow if you choose to react in a different way and choose to do different daily behaviors the next 30 days rather than the last 30 days and get out of your own way. Get out of your own way because you and you alone are stopping yourself from getting to the next level and getting there. You know, if there's a great book that Kristen's just listening to now, You Can and You Will by Joel Austin. I can tell you right now, the books that we read have changed our mind and the people that we've connected with. Find somebody that has what you have and don't be a hater. Find somebody that has what you have and do what they do instead of knocking them down. Find somebody that has what you have and do what they do and don't knock them down. You know, look to them for them to aspire you to be more in life instead of you trying to knock somebody down. And last but not least, guys, I'm going to say this. You will never, ever, ever have somebody that is where you want to go, who's more successful than you in life, in what you're trying to achieve, you will notice you will never, ever, ever have them knock you down or talk bad about what you're trying to do. It always, always will be people that aren't more successful than you in the journey that you're going for they are going to try to knock you down. And if you think about that, you shouldn't let it get to you as I'm not letting it get to me. But in turn, I wanted to come back and give value to you guys because I know so many people deal with this. I hear about it all the time and we still still deal with it. But I want to come on here and share my story and let you know that listen to those that are where you want to go. Don't listen to those that have no knowledge and are where you don't want to be. OK, so guys, have a great and amazing Saturday. I will talk to you guys soon. I actually have to get ready for the Hey Bro Show at 11.30 with Scotty Hobbs. Again, something we want to give back to thousands and thousands of people in the Beachbody Network and the men in the network. Um, and I want to get ready for that, eat some breakfast, and then have an amazing day with my kids. So I love all you guys. Keep your heads up. Stay strong. Bless and release those that maybe are coming at you. You know, pray for them as I will be praying and thinking of them. And remember, you and you alone can determine where you want to go in your life. You are the only person that needs that vision. Don't let anybody else stop you from that. Have a great day, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.